Brand Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Brave Web Browser for Desktop, version 1.42, which started rolling out on the 3rd of August, which was late yesterday in my region, and I've received my update this morning on the 4th of August. Now, there's quite a bit going on in this latest release. Um, a lot of add-ons to the wallet, um, which seems to be quite common in most of the updates to the browser these days. Um, some add-ons in the settings, some nice changes in the settings, some security fixes to the browser, and then a couple of bug fixes, and then we get those all important um, security updates that have rolled out with the Chromium project and platform which the browser is based on. So just to head to the settings first of all, because there's quite a bit going on in the settings menu with this latest release. And first of all, they've added the ability to import from the Chromium version of Microsoft Edge. So if you head to import bookmarks and settings, um, just uh, head down to the drop down fly out menu. And here you'll see Microsoft Edge. They've added the ability now to import from the Chromium version of Microsoft Edge, which previously wasn't available. And then staying in settings, um, they've added a setting for search engines used in the address bar in private in the uh, private window. So if we just head to uh, the search engine, you'll see uh, there's a new private window search engine used in the address bar. So now you have the option uh, to, to uh, choose which uh, search engine you would like to use uh, in the private window now in the settings menu. And then um, the, they've also added settings to refine autocomplete suggestions in the address bar. So if we just head to uh, the appearance section, you'll see now show autocomplete suggestions in address bar. Um, as mentioned, um, they have now some new suggestions. So you can suggest top sites, suggested sites, browsing history, bookmarks, and you can toggle any of those on or off. So those settings now to refine autocomplete suggestions in the address bar now have been added now also to the appearance page uh, in this latest release. And um, then if we just head to the uh, private window, once again, we just head to uh, the menu, new private window. Um, they've um, updated the new tab page design for the private window, as we can see, which I think looks quite nice. And if we just head back this time to new private window with Tor, they've also updated the private window for the Tor private browsing, which I also think looks quite nice. And here we can see Tor has connected successfully. So I think that's um, two nice uh, visual design upgrades to the private window and the private window with Tor. Now that's basically what's happening uh, in the settings menu. And just to do a quick, a couple of quick mentions for some add-ons and improvements, the wallet once again, and I'm not going to get into all of these, but the wallet once again, has received numerous add-ons like it, like and most of the recent updates to the browser um, do include a lot of Brave Wallet add-ons and improvements. Uh, there are three security updates to the browser itself, and they've also um, enabled unlinkable uh, bouncing by default, which is basically Brave's attempt to disable a tracking feature. So unlinkable bouncing is now enabled by default. And they've also updated uh, the default search engine to Brave Search for new installations in certain regions. And then uh, the uh, context menu option, uh, get image description from Brave, has been removed. So that's no, no longer in the right-click context menu. And then there are a couple of bug fixes to the browser, nine in total. And most of those, once again, are to do with the Brave wallet, which has um, received a couple of bug fixes. And there's also just one fix here that you might find interesting. Um, they fixed the inability to click on the audio icon of a pin tab to unmute the tab. So that issue has now been resolved. Now, if you'd like to see if you have this uh, latest version, just head to your menu once again. This time we go to About Brave. And I do find that the Brave web browser does a good job of updating itself in the background. But if it hasn't, this will force the update. And the latest version now is version 1.42.86, uh, which is the latest version and build now to this latest release. And then the Chromium um, uh, platform has been bumped up to the latest Chromium version 104.0.5112.81, which is exactly the same now as uh, the Google Chrome uh, web browser. 
And this Chromium update is quite an important security update because it includes 27 security fixes, seven of those um, uh, security vulnerabilities that have been addressed um, in the Chromium platform are high risk, which is your second highest vulnerability after critical. So just make sure, as mentioned, you double check, um, even if you're not in interested in any um, new features because the browser is based on the open, open source Chromium platform, those security updates are very important. So that's 27 vul vulnerabilities in total that have been addressed in this latest update. And if you'd like to get to the release notes, you can just click on the version which will take you over to the, release, to the release notes. And I have covered what I would consider the key highlights for you in this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.